At the main entrance of GRCC's main building, there is a mural depicting the college's history. On this mural, only four of our presidents are represented. And of those four, only one, Richard Calkins, can be credited with overseeing the largest expansion in college history, both in terms of student and campus growth. Recruited to replace Francis McCarthy in 1975, President Calkins would lead the college for the next 23 years. When you stroll the campus of GRCC, much of what you see, from the Ford Fieldhouse, to the Student Center, to the ATC, to the Spectrum Theater, even our renowned parking ramps, came to be during his tenure. The Calkins Science Center is named in his honor. And I'm supposed to say something like, we can build this dream together, nothing's gonna stop us now. Yet as important as our facilities are, in Richard Calkins' mind, they were primarily a means to a more important end. I don't, I don't think you measure a person by buildings. It isn't the building that's important. It's, it's what happens inside the building when instructors and staff meet with students and, and create uh, the new exciting challenges for the future. So uh, I see it as, a, as a opening a pathway, if you wish, uh, by doing some of those things that we did uh, for the future. I think what we're all hearing is it's all about students. Thanks to President Calkins' leadership, we now have a world-renowned culinary program. We now have a thriving college foundation. Our diversity learning efforts began. We built strong ties to meet the training needs of local businesses while improving the excellence of our transfer programs. But of all the things we owe Richard Calkins, the most important may be our identity. Thanks to his guidance, what had always been known as GRJC matured into Grand Rapids Community College after a countywide vote in 1991. The thing that, that really concerned me at the time we were going through was whether we could pass it. And, and we did, and, uh, and so that whole process was multi-year, uh, but a, a good one, good one for us because we were able to take the, the uh, college out to the community, and we had uh, lots of input from leadership at, in terms of uh, what we could do and what they could do to to help make this a dream become a reality. Perhaps the most convincing evidence of successful leadership is the smooth transition to a new leader, one who is able to build upon what came before. We have more than passed this test. The simple fact is that Grand Rapids Community College continues to move forward because you, President Richard Calkins, propelled us in that direction. We strive every day to ensure that our stride is long enough for the momentum you created. You pushed us to look at the big picture, and that legacy continues to benefit every student who passes through our doors. Know, know that, that you are a corpus, you are a corporate group, and it, it, it is made up of individuals who are diverse, but it still has one mission, one goal, and, and you need to focus on that and not let the other stuff uh, move the institution so far away from its, its values and what it's trying to accomplish. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct privilege and honor to present the man who is our seventh president and now President Emeritus, Richard W. Calkins. Please turn around and face the audience, ladies and gentlemen. I proudly present to you. Thank you. 